energy stored in the electric field. A capacitor C1 is charged to a potential difference delta V1. So we have a potential difference delta V1 on C1. After the battery is removed, it is connected in parallel with an uncharged capacitor C2. So this switch is closed, it gets connected to this capacitor C2, which is initially uncharged. Part A, after the switch is closed, what is the common potential difference at equilibrium? Because this is a parallel connection, they will have the same potential difference. Part B, what is the energy stored in the electric field before and after the switch is closed? Okay, so uh, first of all, let's look at the situation before the switch is closed. Before S is closed, we have a charge stored on the capacitor 1, Q1 initial, and this charge is equal to the capacitance C1 multiplied by the potential difference delta V1, right? And initially we have no charge on capacitor 2, Q2 initial is 0. Now, after the switch is closed, after S is closed, we have the total charge, Q1 initial, will be shared by the two capacitors. So this is going to be shared such that we will have the total charge initially, which is Q1 initial, will be equal to Q1 final plus Q2 final. So remember, in the parallel connection, the charges add up, the potential differences are the same. So this will be equal to C1 times delta V final, that's Q1 final, plus C2 times the common potential difference, delta V final. So we have the equivalent capacitance C1 plus C2 times delta V final equals to C1 times delta V1, the potential difference uh, developed between the terminals of the capacitor uh, initially. So from this, we can read the final potential, uh, common potential difference delta V final to be uh, C1 divided by C1 plus C2 multiplied with delta V1. So this is going to be the answer to part A of the problem. And here also note that this is a division of capacitances. So this has to be dimensionless here. And this has to have the unit of potential difference. So indeed, delta V final is proportional to delta V1 with this factor C1 over C1 plus C2. Now, in terms of the energy stored in the electric field before and after the switch is closed, uh, initially, we have energy stored in the capacitor 1, U1 initial, which is equal to 1 over 2 C1 delta V1 squared or uh, Q1 initial squared over 2C or 1 over 2C1 delta V1 squared. And I note that in the parallel connection, the equivalent capacitance after the switch is closed will be C1 plus C2. So the final potential energy stored in the uh, two capacitors will be U1 final plus U2 final. And that will be equal to 1 over 2, the equivalent capacitance C1 plus C2, delta V final squared. And I already know what delta V final is. So the final energy stored in the electric field of the two capacitors will be 1 over 2, C1 plus C2, multiplied with delta V final squared, 
which is c1 squared divided by c1 plus c2 parentheses squared delta v1 squared so i'm substituting this result for delta v final and taking its square now you can see that this c1 plus c2 will get rid of this square here so i will find the final potential energy uh, stored in the electric field of the two capacitors to be 1 over 2 c1 squared divided by c1 plus c2 delta v1 squared now this is an interesting answer you can see that initially the energy stored was one half c1 delta v1 squared now it is one half c1 squared delta v1 squared divided by c1 plus c2 so uh, this is going to be less than uh, this quantity because uh, c1 squared over c1 plus c2 will be less than uh, c1 so uh, why is this final potential energy stored in the circuit uh, not equal to the initial potential energy so what happened to the energy lost well part of the energy is lost as heat in the resistance of the wires and by also by radiative losses so there will be uh, losses by electromagnetic waves and also with zero resistance in the circuit equilibrium is never reached so you can reformulate this problem by saying that these wires are superconducting wires so the resistance is zero therefore you cannot talk about heat loss and you can say that uh, this whole thing is uh, under uh, vacuum and uh, there is no heat conduction mechanism and electromagnetic waves cannot uh, go outside but with this zero resistance situation one will see that equilibrium uh, in the electrical circuit will never be reached because there will be uh, charges hopping back and forth and uh, therefore this situation that we are considering here the equilibrium uh, energy uh, stored energy is only possible if there is a finite resistance uh, on the wires and uh, part of the energy is lost as heat and part of the energy is lost due to uh, radiative losses in the circuit okay so in summary we talked about an initially charged capacitor c1 which gets connected in parallel with an initially uncharged capacitor c2 after the switch is closed at equilibrium the common potential difference that they will uh, see can be found by considering the initial charge stored in c1 equals to the final total charge stored by the two capacitors because the charge stored on a capacitor is capacitance multiplied by the potential difference and because the potential difference will be common in parallel connection we can write this equation as q1 initial is c1 delta v1 if that is c1 delta v final plus c2 delta v final so delta v final is c1 over c1 plus v c2 times delta v1 what is the energy stored in the circuit in the electric field before the switch is closed well c2 doesn't have any charge so there's no potential energy c1 has a potential difference delta v1 so one half c1 delta v1 squared after the switch is closed the total potential energy will be equal to one half equivalent capacitance delta v final squared c1 plus c2 cancels uh, c1 plus c2 squared term at the bottom and we're left with a potential energy which is not equal to the initial potential energy and we attribute the loss of energy to heat in the resistance of the wires radiative losses uh, in the circuit